Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will look into gamma cameras used in medical imaging for diagnosis. For more medical imaging equipment videos, you can check our X-ray machine playlist. So where did it all begin? The phenomenon of radioactivity was discovered in 1896 by Antoine Henri Becquerel, but its application in visual diagnostics started about 50 years later. It was invented and constructed by H. Anger in 1957, improvements being made from 1958 to 1963. Gamma cameras are being commercially produced and sold since 1962. About 10 years later, they become widely used, and soon they pushed out the scanner from visual diagnostics. From 1965 to 1974, various centers developed their own computer programs. After 1974, computers with incorporated nuclear medicine software packages became commercially available. So, what is a gamma camera? In layman's terms, the gamma camera, or SPECT camera, is a camera that is able to detect scintillations, flashes of light, produced when gamma rays, resulting from radioactive decay of single photon-emitting radioisotropes, interact with a sodium iodide crystal at the front of the camera. Gamma cameras are based on the detection of gamma rays emitted from radionuclides. Radionuclides can be ingested or injected into the body. This camera accumulates counts of gamma photons, which are detected by crystals in the camera. Just like an X-ray, the gamma camera will yield a two-dimensional projection of a three-dimensional object. A tomographic version of the gamma camera is called SPECT, which yields slices through the body. Because the detection techniques of gamma cameras and SPECT are based on the same concept, the same radioisotopes can be used for both techniques. Commonly used isotopes include technetium 99m, iodine-123, and indium-111. How does a gamma camera machine work? Gamma cameras, also called Anger cameras and scintillation cameras, are the most common means of forming an image. These cameras capture photons and convert them to light and then to a voltage signal. This signal is reconstructed to a planar image that shows the distribution of the radionuclide in the patient. The first part of the gamma camera is a collimeter. It absorbs gamma rays that do not travel parallel to the plates, improving image resolution. The gamma rays that pass through the collimeter strike a scintillation crystal. This crystal, often made of sodium iodide with trace amounts of thallium, fluoresces when it absorbs gamma rays. These flashes of light are detected by an array of photomultiplier tubes coupled to the crystal with light pipes. The photomultiplier tubes capture the flash and amplify the signal. The size of the signal is proportional to the energy of the absorbed photon. The signals from the photomultiplier tubes go through an analog to digital converter and then to a pulse height analyzer. This device detects the intensity of the signal and thus the energy of the incident absorbed photons and uses only photons from the radionuclide when forming the final image. Let's look into the components of a gamma camera. The major components in a gamma camera are the collimeter, a large area scintillation crystal, a light guide, and an array of photomultiplier tubes. The first is that an imaging collimeter is used to define the direction of detected gamma rays. The collimeter most commonly consists of a lead plate containing a large number of holes. By controlling which gamma rays are accepted, the collimeter forms a projected image of the gamma ray distribution on the surface of the crystal. The second is that the crystal is viewed by an array of PM tubes rather than a single PM tube. Signals from the PM tubes are fed to electronic or digital position logic circuits, which determine the XY location of each scintillation event as it occurs by using the weighted average of the PM tube signals. Detector System and Electronics The gamma camera employs a single large area rectangular NAL detector crystal, usually 6 to 12.5 millimeters thick with sizes of up to 60 by 40 centimeters. An array of PM tubes is coupled optically to the back face of the crystal with a silicone-based adhesive or grease. Round PM tubes are arranged in a hexagonal pattern to maximize the area of the crystal that is covered. Some cameras use hexagonal cross-section PM tubes for better coverage of the crystal. Typical PM tube sizes are 5 cm in diameter. Most modern cameras employ between 30 and 100 PM tubes. 
The PM tubes are encased by a thin magnetic shield to prevent changes in the gain caused by changes in the orientation of the gamma camera relative to the Earth's magnetic field. Let's look into types of gamma cameras. There are two types of gamma cameras available currently on the market, the mobile gamma camera and the fixed gamma camera. Let's first look at the mobile gamma camera. The mobile gamma camera is a fully portable and mobile unit. It is an imaging technique to generate functional scans of organs in the body such as brain, cardiac, neurological, and kidney, as well as scan small organs including the breast, thyroid, pancreas, and others. The mobile gamma camera scans the body by injecting a radionucleotide in the body or organ and records the resulting radioactivity by using gamma cameras. Image acquiring in mobile gamma camera is done in just two minutes. The complete examination of the patient from the time of the injection of radioisotopes and the final image acquisition is done in 10 minutes. The second type of camera is a SPECT gamma ray detector with computer tomography. SPECT is a nuclear imaging scan that integrates computed tomography, CT, and a radioactive tracer. The tracer is what allows doctors to see how blood flows to tissues and organs. Before the SPECT scan, a tracer is injected into your bloodstream. The tracer is radio-labeled, meaning it emits gamma rays that can be detected by the CT scanner. The computer collects the information emitted by the gamma rays and displays it on the CT cross-sections. These cross-sections can be added back together to form a 3D image of your brain. The radioisotopes typically used in SPEC to label tracers are iodine-123, technetium-99M, xenon-133, thallium-201, and fluorine-18. These radioactive forms of natural elements will pass through your body and be detected by the scanner. Various drugs and other chemicals can be labeled with these isotopes. This was the simplified video on gamma camera machines in medical field. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And don't forget to check out our X-Ray Machine playlist for more information. And I will see you guys in the next video.